Hello, welcome back to Mass Effect with Katrina Cat Shepherd. We back on the Citadel here. Um, after having done the Pharos mission and also recovering a, a data module that a monkey had stolen. So we're getting the ship restocked. And uh, right, right now we need to talk to Cat. Uh, Mother's Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. We'll have exclusive footage later today. I don't understand. Hackett thought we did bad. But this guy thinks we did okay. How weird. Make up your mind. Did we or do? Well, maybe the military wanted something more from us. Got higher standards. All right, let's go talk to Cat's mom's old friend. Hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I spoke to my mother. She told me about what happened on Mindoir. Oh, did she? I wonder. People tied like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. And we couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? Mm. I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. Her mom kind of told her to take care of this guy, so she's going to... She's going to treat the guy decently because her mom requested it. Otherwise, she'd go that way. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VAO? God! All right. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. What do you say we head down to Cora's den after shift? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for Novio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot that was today. Where's he going again? Novaria. Apparently, they've got a huge demand for corporate security. Novaria? Isn't that the frozen planet? Yeah. Huh. I wouldn't go, but I guess the pay's pretty good. Huh. Yeah, well, don't go before Shepard gets there, because otherwise you might regret it. <laughs> Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible.
Where are we gonna go? I think we should go out to the Armstrong Cluster next. That seems like the most likely place before, where we're going to find Saren. Like I said before, I think I'm just going to ignore the big stupid jellyfish and I'm going to ignore Rebecca and Michael over here. And her, I don't know. I think we might ignore her. Got a moment, Spectre? I don't know. Oh, maybe this guy's got an upgrade of some kind. I doubt it. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. <sighs> oh, look. There we go. I'm going to check if he's got some Devlin or Commander. It is good to see you. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do. <clears throat> nope. No Devlin. I wanted to get some Devlin ar armor so that I could put one of these dudes in it and uh, then we don't have to worry about environmental hazards. At the time the statue was built, the entire galaxy respected the Krogan. Now they're simply hated and feared. You won't have to put up with us for much longer, Turian. My people will die out soon enough thanks to you. Some would argue you brought this on yourself. It was the Krogan who started the war. And the Turians made sure to finish it. And you wouldn't have done the same? Ha. Ah, my ass. The statue represents what the Krogan used to be. A proud and fierce nation. Now we're just brutes for hire to the highest bidder. We've forgotten our roots. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. That's okay. Those doors just open, huh? Oh, interesting. I saw your Ferris report. If we had known anything about the Thorian, Exogeny would never have been given the permits to start a colony there. Thank God the colony survived. We can't afford to have too many failures out in the Traverse. It's one of our major expansion regions. You don't give a damn about the colonists. It's all just politics to you, isn't it? We can't all be the hero who charges in to save the day, Commander. But we each serve humanity in our own way. You can't escape interstellar politics. It's part of the big picture, and sometimes it isn't pretty. Just ignore him, Shepard. The ambassador's a little bitter sometimes. Comes with the job. Okay, we'll ignore him. I think we'll go out to the Armstrong Cluster now. 
That seems like the best place to go. Still not sure about the Cerberus stuff. Welcome to How that would fit in Allow with Mass Effect 2. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. You know, I'm not sure the loyalty stuff in Mass Effect 1 or Mass Effect 2 ever really fit in well with the main story. Mass Effect 1, we've got this thing called the Race Against Time in our journal. It makes it sound like it's pretty urgent. Anything to, like, divert from that is kind of like reduces the idea of a race against time and in Mass Effect 2 it's kind of the same thing it's like we're supposed to be working to stop the collectors not dealing with everybody's family problems uh, I don't know I mean it just doesn't seem to really fit in very well with the overarching story. It's got to be a way to do it. Pharos, Vermeer right. is a lush. Wo okay, so Vermeer, what's in here? What we got in here? Sorry, religion. Did we pick that up from talking to Liara or something? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe listening to the elevator talk about. Celebrations about the end of the Iraq Night War, I don't know. <clears throat> Alright. So let's head on out to the Armstrong cluster. So where is the Armstrong cluster? Alright. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Patching it through. Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in Geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. I'm on it, Admiral. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. Well, also because... We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. In my headphones, that goes really silent. In the recording, I don't think it goes so silent, though. All right. 
think that's where we have to go. Let's just check these other places out. See if I can find some matriarch writings. We can do almost all of this from the Mako. No. where we want to go. Let's see how well we can snipe. Oh, some people can be leveled, huh? All right, well, let's do that. Cat, cat, cat. Ashley. Let's see if we can't just snipe these suckers. There's one up there. I just saw it. Where is it? I just saw it. Oh, here we go. Contacts. Powering up. Perimeter clear. You guys aren't even shooting, man. Ashley, what the hell are you talking about, woman?
Come on, where are you? Anyway, I'm having a hard time with that one over there. Ooh, got one. All right. Negative contact. We already took care of that one, right? Ooh, I saw him. Ah. That got me. I don't know how. I was behind the cliff. Actually, I may be missing. I think I might be missing. Oh, my team's firing. Although, mostly they're firing. Mostly they're firing at the damn hill. <laughs> Bring it on! Oh, that's a good attitude, Ash. Perimeter clear. What you talking about, Garrus? It ain't clear. Yeah, we're going to probably have to do this from the Mako. This one here just won't die, man. Eh. Well, the thought was nice. <laughs> Enemy contact. 
Mako. Ah, Mako. Yeah, not even a Mako could deal with this thing. I think I can even see that one there. We hit it some with the sniper. Perhaps phasic rounds would be good here, huh? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. It's been already quite a long episode, 28 minutes. With it, a lot of it just being me trying to snipe these suckers, and I only actually killed one with my sniper rifle. Cover me. You're covered. Uh, so I'm gonna end it here, and we'll take out the Geth base in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day.